Mark, what the hell is this thing? This is the Kensington SD7000. Oh, it is nice. a Surface Pro docking station. Now, you are probably familiar with the Surface Studio. You can remember the, the glorious days when we actually had one in the office. It was fancy. It was. Four and a half K display. It was, uh, gosh, 26 and a half inches, uh, 28 inches, actually. Um, the problem is, is that it cost 4000 and the Surface Studio 2, which we haven't officially seen yet, come on, Microsoft, is about $3,500. So Woo. not something that we have lying around, but we do have several Surface Pro tablets and this supposedly turns this into a Surface Studio-like machine. And that's what we're going to try to find out today. So we're going to actually unbox this. Nice. Taking off some of the labels to save us a little time, but I actually have never opened this sucker before. So let's flip this around here. We have to go up in the back. <laughs> And also, it has uh, it has ports and everything. It does. In fact, you know a this swivel screen. One of the things that we're going to talk about is the price of this. It was a sort of an eye popping three hundred dollars. Sorry, three hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah, I know it's incredibly high. Wow. But a if you're talking about Surface Studio prices, you know we're talking that neighborhood. And two, we're also talking. And this looks like a Surface Dock, and a Surface Dock actually runs you about two hundred dollars just flat. Huh. So you know when you're talking Surface hardware. Where things are expensive. Ah, let's get this thing out. So the combination of a dock plus a stand sort of has that zero gravity hinge thing. Hopefully, it makes it a little bit more worthwhile. So let's see. They really pack it in there, huh? They do pack it in there. So the live unboxing again. Never actually unboxed this before. So let's take a look at it. Nice. How heavy is it? Uh, it is pretty substantially heavy. I don't have a weight on this, but I'd say it's a, something like a neighborhood of like four pounds. So it actually is pretty decent. Nice. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, you know what it looks like? It's the other side. You know what? There we go. And then it, it pulls. Yeah. yeah that's there we go. Alright, little styrofoam right. action going yeah. on, protect it, keep it nice and safe, there goes our instruction manual. There you go. Let's go over here, thank you. Can you just take a look at the instruction manual? Sure, we'll take a look at the brief. You know what, nobody manual. looks at the instruction. No, Alright, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it should be self-explanatory, right? Hopefully. Yep. Alright, so, take it off. Oh, okay, well, what is, it, what is this build material? That, I believe, is just plain old plastic. Uh, this looks like the top, I guess. Let's take off the plastic wrap. And you can see, normally, it's sort of that same gray that you would find on a surface aesthetic. Uh, unfortunately, the tablets don't really go for, well, they have the one sort of platinum uh, color, but everything else is usually gone to black or cobalt or um, burgundy. So that there's only one option of color on yeah, the Yeah, there's only one itself. option of this, yeah, which is fine. Uh, so if you have sort of a color tablet, you're going to have, this will be like an accent color, I suppose. Yeah. All right, so let's take a look at this guy. So we can see, you know, this has the Surface Studio type ports. This is unfortunately at the back. It would be nice if this was actually at the front, but I don't believe it is. Oh, and of so. course, a Kensington lock. Yeah, exactly, the Kensington <laughs> lock. So we've got uh, USB-C, which is something we don't actually have on the Microsoft dock, four USB ports, which I believe are 3.1. Uh, the dock has 3.0. You've got gigabit Ethernet, uh, a full-size display port, uh, which is interesting because most of the docks and most of the Surface devices use a mini DP port. Uh, to HDMI, huh. but you actually have a straight HDMI cable here, uh, as well as power. Well, is this uh, provided, or is this uh, the actual surface? It actually is provided. Oh, is it in here? Uh, yeah, it should be in this cable box right here. And they have separate things here, so I don't think I don't think this is actually necessary to drive the dock itself. I believe this is probably power that goes straight into your uh, Surface Pro tablet. Huh. So, let me just check that out. So, let's see. That goes what, what, to what, the is, back. what is this? That is the probably. Is it for the pen? It, it well, there is a pen holder. Uh, there is actually something that clips in, and my guess is, is that you slide the tablet here and it slides right in. Oh, there. it kind of do that looks like the power plug, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, exactly. That's oh, what the Surface Pro. Okay. So let's go ahead and first off take off the. And, and what model do you have here? This is the Surface Pro Six, and honestly, uh, this is actually rated for the. Surface Pro 5th Gen and the Surface Pro 4, the 5th Gen is a 2017 model, so this is 
we're, we're testing the limits here <laughs> with the uh, Surface Pro 6. It should which be the is same, right? Exactly. It's physically the same as these previous two generations. So let's go ahead and yeah, switch, right. switch to tablet mode. That'd be funny if it was, if it was just off just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. That would be funny. So let's go ahead and snap it out and snap it in. Wow. And okay. so basically... Dang. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't That's it? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it sort of slides all the way up and down. D does it feel as smooth as the actual surface? Studio? Not quite, no, but it's a pretty good approximation. You can see, honestly, that it doesn't go straight up to the vertical either. Um, so That's as vertical as it can get. I guess as vertical as it gets, yeah. So you're getting a little bit of an angle here. <clears throat> are, are, I didn't feel, was there like rubber behind? Like, Not really. Does it feel like it's going to scratch it? No, this is all pretty much no? plasticky oh, okay. here, so I think we're all set. There is actually supposedly a magnetic holder for the pen, which I think we've left over at my desk. That's no problem. It looks a little snug. It does look snug. It looks nice. Um, you know, we can flip it over to, let's see if we can, I had it over here. Uh, let's see, it should take, nah, I won't take my finger, that's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can imagine basically using this as an easel to ink upon. It doesn't fold back as flat as it does with the kickstand, but it folds back pretty flat enough, and it's got a nice pretty solid. You can really lean into this and not bend it back. Nice. Wow. Um, I would say probably the only drawback that I can see that's really obvious is the fact that of course you can't use the keyboard with it. Uh, you'd have to use a Bluetooth keyboard or just use this as a secondary display, which is perfectly fine, but again it's a limitation that uh, you know you don't go you don't see with an ordinary tablet. So wow, interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. So, you know, certainly all the ports are still available. Um, you've got uh, the USB port over here, as well as the mini, di mini display port accessible over here. Everything slides right in. Um, we could probably just, uh, don't even think. Of it. And you got the headphones over here, too. Yeah, the headphones are there. That's right, exactly, yeah. So, that is pretty much physically how the Kensington SD7000 works. Again, pretty pricey at $399. We'll try to give us a little bit more of a full-fledged review in the next coming days, but for right now, looks like if you're interested in, in sort of a Super Studio-like uh, accessory for the Surface Pro tablet, you've got it. Cool, that's yeah, awesome. It Thanks, awesome. Mark. Mm -hmm. Absolutely.